tardigrades, also known as moss piglets or water bears, are already widely known as the most resilient animals in the universe. But now their invincibility prospects have survived yet another insane stress test. Here's what you need to know. Microscopic tardigrades have previously been shot out of guns, exposed to intense ultraviolet radiation, and bathed in boiling hot water as well as accidentally crash landing on the moon. In the course of scientists testing the limits of their tun state, where their metabolism drops to almost zero and they are able to survive extreme conditions. Now they've been used in an attempt to show that a multicellular organism can become quantum entangled, which according to live science is when separate particles become bound to one another, so a change to one spin or momentum instantaneously changes the others, even when large distances separate them. For a research paper uploaded to preprint repository archive, scientists froze three tardigrades to a fraction of a degree above absolute zero, sending them into a tun state, and then placed them between two capacitator plates of a superconductor circuit that formed a quantum bit, or qubit. When they made contact with this, its resonant frequency shifted. This tardigrade qubit hybrid was then coupled to a second circuit, the two qubits became entangled, and subsequently the frequency of all three parts changed in tandem. However, the study's entanglement conclusions have been widely challenged, with phys.org summarizing that, Placing a tardigrade on top of a qubit could result in altering the frequency of the qubit, but that is not the same thing as the two being entangled, before adding, also, the tardigrade was not able to act as a single quantum object. Showing tardigrades can resume regular existence after experiencing conditions near absolute zero and pressures as low as 0 0.000006 millibars for up to 17 days, then may be the experiment's most notable outcome, with the archive preprint noting that one of the three tardigrades was successfully revived after the experiment's completion. As such, CNET concludes that the real headline is that scientists have shown once again just how tough tardigrades can be, and as a result, maybe the paper could open the door to incorporating the tardigrade into other quantum experiments in the future. CNN reports that thousands of micro-creatures called tardigrades were on board Israel's Beersheet spacecraft when it crash-landed on the moon in April. According to the BBC, tardigrades are about a millimeter long with eight legs, claws, and a sucker-like pharynx to spear prey. They are more commonly known as water bears or moss piglets. CNN reports that they live in water or in plants like lichen or moss, can withstand being heated to 150 degrees Celsius, and frozen to almost absolute zero. The nonprofit Arch Mission Foundation dehydrated the water bears, which caused the organisms to enter a state of suspended animation where metabolism lowers to 0.01% of their normal rate. They were then encased in amber and loaded onto the bear sheet, along with a 30 million page archive of human history called the Lunar Library. Since the tardigrades are resilient, researchers say it's likely they survived the crash, but they will need to be reintroduced to water in order to reanimate. Writing in the journal PLOS1, scientists designated the new species of tardigrade as Macrobiotis shonaicus. After the initial fighting in Japan, researchers were unable to identify which type of tardigrade it was. Reportedly, 20 new species are found annually. They bear resemblance to some other species of tardigrade, but the new species is noted for its unique eggs. These have lengthy tentacles and a solid exterior. Researchers also noted the creature's mouth, which has three circular layers of teeth. Scientists in India have discovered a new species of tardigrade that protects itself from extreme doses of UV radiation with a blue glowing protective shield. Here is what they found. Tardigrades, also known as water bears, are among the most resilient animals in the world and are considered by many to be the cutest invertebrates. They are nearly translucent and average about half a millimeter in length. They lumber around on eight stubby legs located under their bodies. Studies show they can use a unique form of hibernation to cope with temperatures from as cold as absolute zero to above boiling, live at pressures six times greater than those at the bottom of the deepest ocean, and withstand dehydration for a decade. They can survive extreme radiation and live in space. Now, researchers in India have found that at least one species of tardigrade has another trick up its sleeve. Writing in the journal Biology Letters, scientists at the Indian Institute of Science describe how they discovered a new species of tardigrade on a moss-covered concrete wall at the institute. The scientists found that when they exposed this species called Paramacrobiotis BLR strain and other species H. exemplaris to 15 minutes of germicidal levels of UV exposure, Paramacrobiotis survived. H. exemplaris did not. 
When treated with a dose four times as strong, 60% went on to live for 30 more days. In fact, the reddish-brown species glowed bright blue. The scientists found that it did this by using a protective fluorescent shield that absorbs the damaging ultraviolet radiation and emits it back out as harmless blue light. The researchers then created an extract from the new species and covered the UV-sensitive tardigrades, H. exemplaris, and the fluorescent substance. This gave them a level of protection from UV radiation, with around half the H. exemplaris tardigrades still alive after a few days of exposure to a dose that should have been lethal. In their paper, the team from the Indian Institute of Science explained the new species has probably evolved this fluorescence mechanism to counter the high ultraviolet radiation of tropical southern India, where the UV index can reach up to 10. For more news animations and explainers, hit the subscribe and bell button to join the Tomo News family. Thanks for watching.